Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Tips. In today's video, we are going to continue with the introduction to HTML. In today's video, we are going to see how to add ordered and unordered list to our HTML and how to insert images. So let's get started. First, we will see how can we add ordered and unordered lists to it. So we will go to our notepad. So we go to our uh, notepad and start writing the tags. So the first tag is HTML. Next, L. Next, title. Let's see the title is restaurant menu slash title close. Next, we will close slash head. Now we will write body. Under body, first I am going to use H1 for writing the name of the restaurant. Let's say it's Pizza Curls. Yes, so now, now we are going to, um, now as we have written this H1 over here, now I am going to write a much smaller heading over here. So let's say H3 maybe. So H3 and I write food or like starter. Starters slash H3. Now to add ordered lists, what we will do is in this tag, write O, L and then close it. O, L over here stands for ordered list. Now, we are going to write something like this. So on our notepad, we will write this tag L, I in small, close it and write the first uh, a starter. So let's say fries and then this slash L, I and then this. Next, as many as starters you want to put, but the ending and the starting of the tag will come from L I or slash L I. So let's say fries and um, let's say salad. And um, let's say sandwich. Yes. Now, once you're done with your uh, ordered list or starters, like for now in ordered list, I'm just putting starters. And then we'll, uh, now we'll move to unordered list. But before we move, it's important for us to close the ordered list. Now, the difference between ordered and unordered list is that ordered list, in ordered list, there will be numerical orders, numerical forms. So, uh, and with fries, it will be one, salad two, sandwich three, and then in unordered list, in unordered list, there will be bullet points. Yes, now how to close an ordered list is this, slash, O, L, and then this. Simple. Next, we need to put one more heading before starting UL. So, otherwise, how will consumers or customers know? So let's say this time again I'm gonna use H3 to maintain the formatty formativity and this time I'm gonna say main course and then this slash H3 sorry and then this yes now as we write O L for ordered list it will be this U L which stands for unordered list and then this now, for an ordered list also, we are going to begin the tag with li and end it with l, slash li. So, let's say this can be our, uh, let's say pizza, as the name is pizza curds. This 
slash li then we can have pasta oh sorry li this pasta this slash li we can have um uh <coughs> yes sorry li we can have garlic bread this slash li so this is it what i'm writing for now and now we need to close ul so it's the same way slash ul and then this now this is how we have prepared our html with ordered and unordered list now let's see how does it look it how does this look on a web page so i'm going to go to file save as and i'm going to write it as ol.html and then save now on the folder on which i have saved this over here you can see this so when i open it so something like this will come One minute. So that file is taking quite long time to do it, but no worries. I can show you another one which I created. So with ordered list and unordered list, it will look something like this. Just a second. Yeah. So you can take a topic. So the thing, the heading which we wrote in H three will come like this. And under this, this is called as ordered list. So it will show it in a numerical form. And again, H three heading. And for unordered list, it will show us in this form, which is bulleted list. So hope you get the idea of it. Now we are going to see how can we add image to this. All right. So you move on to your notepad. And anywhere which you want, so maybe I would want it under the name of my, um, or after body, or like above the name of my restaurant. So how we are going to insert an image is first you would have to find an image. So let's see. Let's say I write this up. You can choose any. Let's see this. Save image. So, like, I have created a folder where I'm putting all this so that it gets organized and then save. Next, you move on to here. First, we will write the tag. So, the tag for inserting an image would be this sign IMG, which stands for image space SRC. This stands for source. After this, an equals to sign where we are going to put the location of the image. But always remember that the location would be put under this this symbol, double quoted one. And you go to your file. Over here, you see this bizarre image. So we don't want to see it right now. Remember, it should be a JPG file. So you right click over here, go down until properties. When you click on properties, sorry, something like this will come. Take the location, control C, I mean copy it, click on OK, move back to your notepad. Over here in the double quoted commas, you put the name, uh, location. Just like this, I've just copy pasted it. Now, next, you can, if you have such kind of slash, this facing this side, you can have it inserted, or you can just copy from here and paste it like this, and then give a name to your image, like say pizza. And pizza dot jpg. This is important. Pizza dot jpg, and then close this double quoted comma. Next, you can just carry it on with this, but if you like, it will 
gain its default shape. If you want to give it its shape, I mean the size of the image, you can also add height and width of it. So how to add it is right over here, height equals to whichever height you want. So let's say I would want 200. Oh no, it's quite big. So let's say 150. Then we write width is equals to 200. Or let's say, let's keep it a square, 150. You can move on with this or you can just choose the default one. I would go with the default one. And then you can just click on file, save as, you would have to give it a new name. So, pizza.html and then save it. So let me show you how does it look like. So it, it seems that the internet is quite slow, but let me show you how is it going to look. This was a previous one which I created. So your image will be like this over here. It's not loading as I said, the internet is quite slow. So it, image will come over here and it depends on the position. Like I wanted it above the name of my, uh, you can even, uh, of my restaurant. You could even put it in between of your text and all. But just remember to write the source, which is uh, the location of the image, slash the name which you want to give it, to it, if it, and dot jpg. This is quite important. And the image which you choose should be a jpg image. And if you don't want to go with the default height and width, you can always set it up on your own. So this is it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you next time. Bye.